I try to have some awareness to what's going on in the game, uh, situational wise, um, third downs, time on the clock, um, just where we are and what's going on. So just talking on the sideline or in the huddle, um, doing the two minute, that last drive, just letting guys know we had plenty of time and time out that you, know, you can still go get yards, don't have to worry about forcing yourself out of bounds. And even when we um, got the long pass to Seth, I didn't want everyone to freak out thinking we had to stay in two minutes. Don't be good. I think that happened right after the two minute uh, timeout. So we had a minute and 50 seconds left. We had a timeout. And obviously, we didn't want to score too early and give them a bunch of time left. So, uh, coach did a good job, I think, calling the run play. Made a give me run there. And, um, you know, just kind of slow it back down and kind of everyone take a deep breath. Do you, like, going in like, before the set play that kind of changed the situation? Do you tell guys, all right, make sure you get the ball to a ref after a catch? That's, uh, yeah, that's constantly talked about, talk about it every week. Um, yeah, it's just different things that can make a difference in the game. Derek talked about feeling more free out there the last few weeks. Do you notice that with him? Maybe when you're in the huddle with him, on the field with him? Um, yeah, I mean, he's playing well. So um, I think as an offense, we're clicking. we got the run game going. Um, we're, we're more balanced. We're staying ahead of the chain. So I think that just allows any quarterback to be more comfortable in there. And, um, you know, we kind of have the defense on, the he- on their heels instead of um, – us not being successful early on the downs and all of a sudden it's third and long or we have penalties and then, you know, they're able to line up and, you know, get aggressive and instead of kind of have to defend what we're doing. Coach Gruden and Derek were both talked a little bit about um, how impressive it was that Feliciano and Gabe Jackson finished that game and Derek was saying you could, it was pretty apparent that both guys were hurt and, but they got through it and contributed on the last drive. Is that something you noticed during the game? Oh, everyone noticed it. Yeah. Um, Obviously, everyone's beat up this time, but they're a little bit more severe than uh, mm-hmm. everyone else. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of guys that wouldn't have finished that and would have, um, you know, had to come out. And then, obviously, we don't know. We're getting short on the line. We got a bunch of new guys in. So, um, you know, obviously, that means a lot to us. And the pride that they take in being out there every play, um, every game, and stepping up and when they know we needed them in a crunch time situation. So, um, yeah. How much of you getting more involved these last couple of weeks is just a matter of being healthy? Um, I think it's a combination of everything. So, um, you know, body feels good in different situations, and every game is different. So, I'm um, just doing my part, making sure I'm out there, like I said, getting healthy and staying healthy. And then um, when the ball comes your way, you don't ever know when it's going to be. I know you didn't know what to expect necessarily when you came out here, but it's been a pretty eventful year with a lot of things that have happened in terms of you know, trades and. You know, the, you know, the GM gone, and now the team may not be coming back next year. As you, as you look at it at the year, is it, how, do you, how do you process it all? Uh, it's been a unique one, uh, <clears throat> for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, but something that I, for years I've always tried to do is control what I can control. And so all that's out of my hands and um, just kind of do my job and um, make sure I'm prepared. And we'll see. So mm-hmm. I, I think, obviously, we'll be here for the majority of the time um, next year. Then, obviously, if we have to go somewhere to play a game, we do. So that will just be a different experience, and we'll handle that when it comes. What have you thought of uh, Jared Cook's season? I know he's talked about you know never never making a Pro Bowl yet. Now in his tenth year, what have you thought of how he's played? It's been impressive. Um, he's um, I think the thing that stuck out to me most this year is not only the plays he's making, but the way he's running after he catches the ball. Um, he's doing it with an attitude and finishing, and he's a big guy and you know not probably the most enjoyable person to hit. So he's taking advantage of that, and um, you know Coach Gruden's doing a great job putting him in matchups to where. Uh, he can be successful. Uh, Derek and him are obviously have formed that chemistry over the couple of years now that they've been together, and um, it's fun to watch. He's full of energy, um, you know, so it, it's it's awesome. I've been around so I was around him one year, and when he came back off the energy er, injury when he was with us, uh, he made a huge impact for us. So um, yeah, it's just being somewhere that is a consistent offense and a consistent quarterback uh, makes a world of a difference, and now you're able to see what he's been able to do. Yeah, you have guys like Lee Smith and Derek Carrier making big plays in crunch time moments. Uh, how, how important is it for guys that may not have a lot of experience when the game's on the line and you have to make a play for those guys to step up? Um, that's just being a true pro. Um, like I said, you don't ever know when it is, but they're always going to be assignment sound, technique sound, um, do their job, and then when they get the opportunity, they're going to make the most of it. Um, so I mean, it, it's great to see those guys get involved, and again, they just – Gives us more options, especially when we get down in the tight red, to go to different formations, different uh, personnel sets, and you know, be able to score multiple ways. Derek's got a pretty good shot at setting the NFL record for most completions by a player through his first uh, five seasons. Um, 
but he was only, what does that just signify to you? Well, I think first is that he's played a lot, um, which, you know, even with his I think, couple injuries he's had, he's, he's fought through them or they've been late in the year and he's durable. And um, again, like I said earlier with uh, the offensive line, those guys battling through stuff. So when you can be reliable in that aspect, but um, also um, takes a lot of pride in, you know, the placement of the ball. He, he wants to put it even in practice in a situation not only where you can catch it, but where you can run afterwards. And if, if it's not exactly where he wants it, then he'll grab another ball and throw it again. And so that's just the mindset that he has um, each day when he's out there is, you know, focus on the little things and then it'll make it easier. And uh, not that the game's easy, but he's um, you know, making those plays and it's because of the work that he's put in, you know, Monday through Saturday.